Okay, so we've got the two diagrams here, okay? So we've got the diagram on the left, which is going to be Meredith's workout, okay? And then once I've explained that, I'll explain uh, my variation, uh, which is on the right-hand side, okay? And if you've got your own variation, then please, um, you know, send me an email and I'll, you know, I'll try and get a video up as well, okay? Okay, so let's see. So Meredith's workout on the left-hand side. So as you can see, um, if you get your campus to form a large circle in the plank position, okay? And then what we're going to do to start, we're going to pick one person to run first. So this person here is going to run full circle. Once this person gets back in the plank position, the next person runs. And then once the next person's gone full circle, the next person runs. And the key is to try and get every single person through um, without anybody touching the knees on the floor, okay? I mean, obviously, if you've got beginners, you know, usually they can't really hold the plank um, off the knees for, you know, a, a, you know, a long duration of time. So maybe you want to get the beginners to maybe, you know, give them the option and say, look, plank off your knees, and then when you feel uncomfortable, you can plank on your knees. But if you have any intermediate to advanced in your group, then you should really be targeting the challenge more, more at them, okay? So you should say, look, by the time each individual runs around the group, I expect the intermediate to advance at least for one round to keep their knees off the floor, okay? And see, when you look at this, it's it doesn't look like it, but it's a team challenge because the duration of your clients holding the plank position, okay, is purely based on how long it takes each individual to run around the circle. So if each individual thinks, you know, I'll take my time, then all that's going to happen is the rest of the group are going to have to stay in the plank position for a longer period of time, okay? So what you want to stress is you want to tell the group and you want to say, look, the quicker you are at running around this circle, okay, the less time the rest of us have to stay in the plank position, okay? So what I've just described there is round one. What Meredith will do with her group is she will play uh, three to five rounds without stopping, okay? Now, if you've got a if you've got a big group, you know, over 20, then you're gonna probably want to do fewer rounds, okay? Because, I mean, how long can you hold the plank position? You, you know, I mean, what, two minutes, three minutes? So if you play five rounds and you've got 20 people in your group, it's just it might take a little longer than that. So what I would suggest is, if you've got maybe below 10 in your, in, your, in your camp, then I reckon you could probably get away with three to five rounds. If you've got more than 20, you might want to play two rounds. But, I mean, I don't know the fitness level of your boot campers, so you, you'll have to gauge that yourself, okay? So there's an absolutely fantastic team challenge. It takes, I don't what, five minutes? It takes no time to set up. And you can use this as maybe a little warm-up drill, um, something to break the session up with, or maybe even a finisher drill, okay? So if we look over then to the right-hand side, uh, sorry, let me just say, Meredith uh, Anderson, if you're listening, thank you for uh, thank you for posting that workout. Okay, so on the right-hand side then, all I've simply done is there's, um, I've lined, I've spaced my, um, my clients out in a circle again, just like Meredith did. But this time what I've done is I've marked out the circle with blue markers, okay? Obviously, it doesn't, the color's completely irrelevant. So just grab yourself a couple of markers and mark out a circle, okay? Now what I want you to do is I want you to take out a pencil and paper and I want you to just, just go along with this, okay? Because as I explain, if you write it down, it will make more sense, okay? So what I like to do with my workouts, okay, it just makes it easier for me, is I like to break it down into steps, okay? So step number one, okay? Just bear in mind that each individual is working individually, okay? So all you're going to get them to do is complete five burpees. It's as simple as that, okay? So step one, complete five burpees. Once finished, okay, so once they've finished the five burpees, they're going to sprint or jog around the circle, okay? Step number three. Players continue to run around the circle for 30 seconds after the last person finishes completing the burpees, okay? So obviously people are going to finish at different times. You want to start the clock for the sprint around the circle when the last person finishes completing their burpees, okay? Step number four. Okay, so once the 30 seconds is up, okay, sprinting around the circle, I want you to quickly spread the group out evenly around the circle and get them to plank, okay? So get them in the plank position for 20 seconds, okay? Now, what I've just explained to you there is round number one, okay? 
This is going to last for five rounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'll explain round two to five, okay? So rounds two to five are played exactly the same way, okay? However, after each round, what I want you to do is add an extra five burpees and an extra 20 seconds to the plank for each additional round, okay? So for every round that passes, so for round two, it'll be 10 burpees and 40 seconds in the plank. For round three, it'll be 15 burpees and 60 seconds in the plank, okay? Now, the running around the circle, okay, which we know is 30 seconds after the last person finishes completing the burpees, that component will always stay the same, okay? And it's as simple as that. So if you've written this down now, you'll, you'll really get the gist of it, okay? Um, what I suggest is on the burpees, if you've got beginners, uh, maybe you might want to get them to go up in threes on the burpees instead of going up in fives, okay? So I really hope that makes sense. If you write it down, just take the time to digest both workouts, okay? And it will really, really make sense, okay? Right, so this is Leon from Unique Bootcamp Workouts. Like I say, if you have your own variation, then please email me at uniquebootcampworkouts at gmail.com. And if it's vastly different to what I've got here, then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll take the time to make a video and I'll also give you a shout out, okay? One last thing, if you enjoy team-based um, team workouts, games, drills and finishes and all that kind of stuff, uh, I'm currently updating my, uh, my products page, which is Ninja Workout Resources, okay? I mean, there's a lot of workouts going around in the group at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. But if you want something a little bit different, you can just click on the link below and you can see, um, well, I've not got all my stuff on there yet, but you can see some of the stuff, uh, some of my latest projects that, that I'm working on and that I've, that I've got out there um, at the moment, okay? So, there you go. This is a crazy workout, okay? I mean, you could even do both of them one after the other, okay? It's up to you. But more importantly, post in the group if you do try this workout and let us all know how you get on, okay? Okay, so this is Leon signing off and I'll see you in the next video.